G'day everybody, well for today's little uh, restore video and uh, also a video for the fan enthusiasts out there we're going to be doing up this 1960s era Mistral exhaust fan I think it is Mistral who uh, made this unit uh, it's very old, uh, very dirty as in absolutely disgusting, there's greasy gunk all over the motor and the propeller and the top side and everything uh, not to mention the front's also covered in sticky residue came out of my grandparents house so we're using it in the uh, kitchen as an exhaust fan in there and uh, it's pretty much been in the house since it was built so I estimate it to be about 60 70 years old uh, if not more but it does run it's got very noisy bearings uh, and it also it's a little bit stiff sort of it does turn over but uh, we're gonna be redoing the bearings and everything when we pull the motor apart on this but first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking it outside and giving it a damn good degrease, get as much of this crap off of it as possible before we can uh, fully start to pull it apart. Okay, well that wasn't a task I uh, enjoyed doing, but uh, it's done. I've uh, used some pretty nasty paint stripper to uh, get the paint off, and as well as that it actually took most of the grease off as well, I mean I've got a lot to do there still, I'm actually going to go over it with a wire brush uh, later on. and just tart that up. I'm going to redo these uh, brackets here. I'm going to uh, cut those off and make some new ones up and weld those on because there's no way I'm known I'm going to get them clean. There used to be rubber bushings on them as well that held the motor on but they've all corroded a long time ago so like the rubber's gone all horrible and sticky. But I've got the wing nuts in there. Excuse the kids next door. But, uh, they're all soaking in mineral tips at the moment, as well as the other uh, clips that hold the, the grill on, the register, which that's going to be next up for uh, stripping the paint. I'm just going to get it back to the uh, steel. That's That probably would have been the original colour it would have been in. And then they put this white paint over it. But that had had about four coats on it, so that's why it took a lot of work, like there. A lot of it was just trying to... Sh shave it off because the paint stripper couldn't even break that down. I mean that's pretty good stuff though. It took off the single layer on that back side there but next steps to uh, do this one until there's two coats on this side or it could be one coat and then there's another coat there or could could even be two I really don't know but that will clean up alright so there's a little plastic top that goes in the center there but uh, get all that cleaned up and then after that I uh, go over it with a meth soaked, metho soaked rag and get rid of all the rest of the paint stripper and then uh, wire brush that and that'll be ready for uh, having the new bits welded on when necessary and give it a repaint. Okay, well I made a, a bit of progress on the motor in terms of getting the rubbish off of it, soaking it in mineral turps and then just going over it with a uh, scraper, got most of the outside crap off and then I just basically spray a bit of nappy sand on it and use a old cloth and just run over it with that and that's actually made it come up really nice like I've been able to uh, clean up this front side and as you remember how filthy that was so it's uh that's come up really good bearings are a little bit noisy but the good thing is these uh ends actually come off so you can grease the bearings is the uh the rear one here it's just like a little dust cap type thing. It's held on by two flat back blade screws. Take those out and you can just take it off and get to the bearing. But I'm probably going to... Uh, is my autofocus working? I don't know. But I'm going to uh, probably replace those, if not give them a really good uh, thorough uh, re-grease and clean up. But it's, it's coming along. It's a very simple motor as well. There's no uh, multiple windings or anything. You've got your, uh, your active in and your neutral, and that's it. It'll just be like a little single pole motor, like those little fan motors. They've just got two magnetic coils on them. This will probably be a similar deal. But I'll uh, get it open, and we'll have a look. Well, there's the motor, uh, all apart and also cleaned up. I just spent the time to uh, make it look nice for the, the video. And it's come up really nicely. I'll just turn that radio down a second, I apologise. 
but uh, it turns out it actually is a, uh, a four pole motor of sorts. I suppose you'd call it a four pole, I'm not 100% sure on that. It could even be a two pole depending on how fast it goes. Although being a, uh, a fan, I'd assume it would probably either be 1450 RPM or probably even 2250 maybe. Um, but those windings are in really good condition as well. I'm going to uh, test them anyway and test them to ground to make sure there's no shorts. But they they look pretty good. The varnish is all still there. The mineral turps that ran through this thing hasn't damaged it at all by the looks of things. But I'm going to uh, put it outside for a bit and actually let the uh, warm air out there because it's pretty warm today. I'll let that dry it out and then uh, we'll be ready to put it back together. There's the rotor. It's actually got copper cast through instead of aluminium. That's how old it is. It's very, very well made little electric motor. There's the back end. Still got a little bit of paint and stuff to try to get out of there. Not that it matters much. But there used to be the rubber bushing for the power cord and that's all completely perished. But that's come up really nice. I'm really pleased with how that's gone. That's all using nappy sand by the way. Maybe a little bit of mineral turps on the screws and things. But that's, that's what you can do with this stuff. Just got the uh, new motor bearing on. This is the rear side. I thought I could try and re-grease them while they're on the shaft, but they're just that bad that I might as well just replace them. That one's seized up now because I had to heat up one side to be able to uh, pull it off. There's a new one for the front. And these are our NSK bearings. Very good quality. And they are dead quiet. So it should cut down a bit of the noise that the fan made. I remember listening to that old thing, the way it rattled away. Pulled a good amount of air, but it was just so bloody noisy because of the bearings went. Well, the crows are certainly flying today. <laughs> but, uh, got the motor all back together and working. Dead quiet. I mean, a little bit of noise, but it's much better compared to what it used to be. Listen to that. Noise has come from that front bearing, or maybe even the back one. Probably the back one more than anything, but who cares? It works. And it is a uh, 1450 RPM motor. It's going way too slow to be a uh, 2250, like I thought. But uh, it's all back together and ready to uh, be reinstalled. Okay, well I've just uh, finished welding the first uh, lug back on that holds the register in place. It's not quite straight, but it is very secure, so that's the, the main thing. I was working out different ways to put them on. I was thinking of actually bolting them back on, but that'd be way too hard, and plus the head of the bolt would stick out too far, so I've just decided to weld them. It's the easiest way, and that way they'll hold nice and secure. But uh, it's where the crack does come into uh, good use, the crack in the floor. I know I do need to get around to uh, get that broom out of the way. I know I do need to get around to filling these up, getting rid of them because they are a bit of a pain when dropping bolts and things through but it is useful because I can just jam that in there and do my work. But the uh, good old arc welder does the job fine. I had this thing for, I got this for Christmas actually a long time ago and I uh, had the issue with the uh, rods always sticking and uh, basically I just put it down to not, not having it turned up enough. I got it almost, got it at about 115, and that's, uh, that's good. Sheet metal and thin metal like this, you do need to turn it up a bit and use a thinner rod, but the thicker stuff it does just fine on. So uh, I'll get the other three on, and uh, I'm also going to make up the new um, brackets that hold the uh, fan and weld those on as well. I decided to replace them since uh, the other ones would just be way too hard to try and actually clean up and refit so I'll uh, make some new ones and get those on too and then we can paint this up and get it done it's not the way you meant to do it but my torch is not very efficient That's good. That's how you do it. That's 
some motor brackets all done. I need to put a right angle on the end, bend about 20mm inwards to make a uh, bit of a lug so that the uh, motor bolts can have something to basically grab onto. And I've also made the uh, fit, fitted the brackets. That was a pain in the ass fitting those because the uh, rods kept sticking and burning through the the thin metal. But I got them on in the end. I might even see if I can solder over that and just block the hole up enough just to make it look nice. Not that anyone sees this side because when it's mounted in a roof, you only see the uh, the front of the register there. You don't see any of that. But I have also made sure that they're all exactly the same height. And basically our motor just fits in like so. Then there's a washer and a wing nut that goes on each of these. And I might even get a rubber bushing as well just to cut down some of the noise. And then that's how it fits on with a propeller on there. So uh, that's now ready for painting.